September 25th, the new Fox Tuesday kicks off with New Girl's new season. Then, welcome Ben and Kate. Stay away from my sister before you find out what six years of Prague Maga feels like. Well, like, year and a half plus, like, four years on and off I was traveling. Followed by another all-new New Girl. What am I looking at here? Pure, unadulterated friendship. And the Mindy Project. <laughs> Can't believe you're tattling. Tattling is when a little girl does it, okay? When a hot woman does it, it's called whistleblowing. The new Fox Tuesday premieres September 25th on Fox. You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, the AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menounos and Bing.com, and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies, this is AfterBuzz TV's Awkward After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424-256-1729. That's 424-256-1729. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's After Buzz TV's Awkward After Show. Hello, everybody. Bing is for doing, and we are here doing the finale of Awkward, Season 2, Episode 12. And uh, I am your host, Ed Bowling. We've also got Annie Demian across the way there. Hi, guys. And uh, most importantly, we st hopefully we still have on the line. We we've, we've had we have a very patient star uh, of awkward, and that is Desi Lydic. Hello, Desi. Welcome. Hey, how are you? Good, good. Thank you so much for bearing with us. You you're you're very no patient and nice. Appreciate it. Um, but oh, no you know, like we were saying, we are super fans of this show, and so let's get right into talking about. Uh, you know, you, I don't know, you're calling in the beginning. You were actually, you were going to try to be here in studio with us, but you had, you had to travel, right? I was. I've been in New York for a little bit, so I feel like I've missed so much, and I'm sorry I can't be there with you guys, but I'm, I'm glad that we could at least do it this way. Yeah, no. Yeah, we're, we're so glad that you were, we were able to work it out, and you can call in, because now the fans can still hear from you. Yeah, the fans want to know stuff about Desi. They want to know. <laughs> so, uh, so for example, we you're you're in good company. We've had on the show already Molly Tarloff. We've had Jillian Rose oh. Reed. We've had Nikki Deloach oh. on, right? All your oh. favorite people in the world. <laughs> all my girls, all my girls. It's so fun. Like we are so lucky because we all really truly love each other and hang out with each other all the time. I've missed seeing them. The last couple months I've been gone, but um, I. Adore those girls. Did you have so much fun with them? Yes, yes and every single one of them. It was so great. Yeah, it was awesome. And that was, you know what? That's kind of what we heard from them too that, you know, there's just like this camaraderie that immediately took place here and yeah. and extends outside of the show. Totally, totally. We we really, really have a good time with each other. And I think it's it's so rare to have that where a cast actually gets along so well and wants to hang out outside the show. And, you know, because you're working really, really long hours. And we shoot so fast. I don't know if they told you, but, you know, we shoot two episodes at a time and we crank it all into a really small window. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So we're working long hours. So if you really want to hang out with those people at the end of those days, yeah. they're good people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. that's a, one of our only complaints about Awkward is that we don't get enough in the half hour, right? <laughs> we get like, oh, we get like so between... Good to hear. It's like, we, it's better to leave you wanting more than going like, that ah, could have been a good 20 minutes shorter. <laughs> right. No, yeah, you know what? That's totally true. And uh, yeah, so in, in, in actuality, it's not really a complaint, right? Because we just, you know, it's enough to keep us, uh, we talk about it every, you know, after show. We've got plenty to talk about, yeah. plenty to, to enjoy. And mm -hmm. then, you know, we're hungry for it for the next seven days. And now we have to wait like a good I don't even want to talk about five that. Five months or so. I don't even want to talk about that. But it's okay because Desi is here. She's going to tell us everything that's going to be happening. She's, yes, she's going to give us all of this. Yes, what a crazy finale twist. I was shocked. Weren't you from the right? very the very first I, minute? 
I mean, and it, it's funny, like, you know, we, we kind of, we knew it wasn't going to be quite as much of a cliffhanger as last year because uh-huh. there wasn't that big, like, who wrote the letter right. scenario, yeah. but there were so many great twists and turns, and I think it left the audience feeling satisfied, hopefully, and, and also kind of thinking a little bit, wondering what might happen next season. Yeah. No, it, yeah, it was, uh, I mean, honestly, did she really pick Maddie? I mean, did she, she really, did. like, I she was, I, I told, I told Annie, I, I, across the, the couch we were watching it on, and I said, Annie, this has to be a dream sequence. <laughs> no way <laughs> in the beginning, the first two minutes. Yeah, they're in the closet. She, yeah, come on. Anyway, as you can tell, right. we enjoy it. Um, so, so wait, what team are you guys on? Oh, I'm on team Maddie. Yeah. You know what? I've been saying that from the beginning. I, Who I have, like? I have been a, the whole time team nobody. <laughs> Because, well, because if you look at it, you know, uh, all the chemistry and all the magic happens with Maddie. She, you know, Maddie does right. it for Jenna. Yeah. And then Jake right. is, you know, but Maddie didn't have any of the stuff that Jake had. Jake was said all the right things, did all the right things, and didn't yeah. give her a reason to not be in love with him. And right. so, yeah, it was just like a default. Like, okay, so there's nothing bad. So, you know, does everything right. And so, you know, one side is boring, and the other side seemed like it was like just wrong and so i say you know what i'm team nobody i'm team nobody what what team are you on desi you know what i i go back and forth constantly oh that's team nobody valerie is definitely (laughs) a team maddie gal but um but i you know i've always kind of gone for the squeaky clean good guys all american super safe gonna treat me really well so i would say my pattern has been more team jake yeah, but she's got so much chemistry with Maddie, yeah. you know, and you kind of got to go with that spark, especially when you're young. Yeah, I just, you know what, when Maddie did a couple of things that also just made me just not like him, when he just, yeah. you know, when he was sneaky and went and said, hey, have you know, d- did you ever sleep with anybody else? Okay, no, then I love you. And I just didn't like it. I didn't like it. But tell us, tell us, Desi, how, uh, because we've actually had some good stories from all the other girls, all your other girls about yeah. this. How did you get the gig? What was, what, what you know, how did it happen for you? I, uh, I ended up, I read the pilot. My manager sent me the pilot. And um, I was just, it was just towards the end of pilot season. And I'd come so close on so many things. And, and I just, it just wasn't happening for me for the last couple months. And I read the script and I thought it was so funny and so smart and so refreshing. I read a lot of great things over that season, but this really just stood out to me. And I had been going in for kind of like the, the girlfriend or the sidekick or, you know, Uh the girl that sets up all the funny jokes for the guy. And that totally has its place. That can be fun too. But when I read the Valerie character, I was like, yes, like this is the (laughs) kind of character I want to get to play. She's a total wild card. You never know what she's going to do. You never know. (laughs) Yes. And I comedically, I love playing a character like that who just has so much, you know, ability to go, to go nuts, to kind of go crazy. And, um, it was written as a guest star in the pilot. And oh. I went in and I met with Lauren, our Lauren Unrich, our creator, the creator right. and, um, and also with the casting director and I auditioned and the scene was so funny in itself. Lauren wrote such a, a great script and such a funny Valerie scene in the pilot. Um, and I had added a couple things to my audition because it was, the character just inspired me to do some extra stuff. So I'm usually not like this. I'm usually not like the carrot top actor who brings in props, but I Uh always feel like (laughs) if you have something on you, like something that would be in your purse, maybe you can like pull it out and use it. Oh, it just happens to be here. It's spontaneous in the moment. And I pulled out the mints and started eating the mints and spit them out in my audition and that wasn't something that was written originally right. and I think Lauren was so probably appalled and, and like disgusted and was like that's disgusting that's boundary crossing I think you're it I think you're Valerie wow <laughs> I think that's I kind of so had great. it with my gross out humor and uh, and that was it I waited for a really long time to get word and then I finally got the word that I got the role, and when we were lucky enough to get 
picked up, they um, they asked me if I wanted to be a series regular, and I said yes. Wow. Nothing would make me happier. That is awesome. See, that's the type of thing that the AfterBuzz listeners and fans of Desi want to hear. They want to hear that mint story for the audition. <laughs> they, yeah, that is awesome. Okay, so for you, it, I mean, I mean, so now one of the things that I say about your character too is that I cannot imagine anybody else doing it. It is you do it Aww. so. I'm serious. It is so hilarious. Yeah. From it's your so facial expressions to all you know everything, it's just awesome. And then we don't understand how this character like why we don't even understand why does Jenna keep coming? Valerie always gives horrible <laughs> advice. It's like the worst <laughs> advice <know>. ever. <laughs> But it's so I know, entertaining. I know, and she always is so irritated by Valerie. It's like it, it, you do kind of go, "Why do you keep stepping into that?" <laughs> but here, I think part of it, and I think maybe this season in particular, with her having issues with her mother. Yeah. I think she didn't have another adult that she felt that she could go to, and Valerie gets terrible advice. But one thing about Valerie is that she really cares about Jenna, and she has Jenna's best interest at heart. And um, and I think Jenna knows that. So I think that was kind of the thing that kept her coming back. Well, maybe this one time she'll give me good advice. Nope. Okay. I've got one yeah. more time. Maybe she'll have something. Exactly. Right. That's so, the um, thing that I thought that maybe, you know what, Jenna's just like, okay, you know what? I don't have anybody else. Let's, I'm just going to go in here on the off chance that she's going to come through for me this time. Right. And then it, it right once. Yeah, and in, inevitably you see Jenna's face. She's like, damn, not this time. Uh, so yeah. I was going to ask yeah. you, how does the character of Val compare to you in real life? Um, I, I mean, we definitely have some similarities. I think growing up, I was always really awkward and uncomfortable and kind of goofy and klutzy and I was like a super nerd for a good part of my life and uh and and the thing that I that that differs is that I I was never okay with it like I always wanted to be cool mm -hmm. so I pretend like I was cooler than I was and the <laughs> thing that I love about Valerie is that she has no idea how uncool she is no she idea thinks She's the popular girl in school. She's the homecoming queen. And I wish I was more like that. Yeah. Um, I was also going to ask you, um, you also are on the client list. Are mm -hmm. you, are you, you're off from that show then right now as well? Yeah, we are on hiatus right now. And I think that they are gearing up for season two. And I'm not sure... Um, what the future holds with that one. I think yeah. we're all kind of still waiting to see what's going on with that because I'm, I'm, um, I'm, I was a guest star on that show. So I was a recurring guest star and I was lucky enough to get to do multiple episodes yeah. last year. And it, it worked out well. I actually shot both at the same time, but with the schedule, they were really, really patient with me and it worked out great. Oh, that's really um, nice. So, so you were doing both shows. It would be nice shows. if that happened again, but I don't, I don't really know. I right. Don't know for sure. But now you're going to be so busy with doing 20 episodes of Awkward, so... I know. I'm so excited. I can't believe that they picked up that many. I'm, I'm thrilled that we get to do it all over again and for longer this time. Yeah. So do you normally live in Los Angeles then and you're just kind of in New York for fun or work? I, or? I do. I'm here for a little of both, a little of like personal reasons and also for business. I've been meeting with a lot of great people out here and I'm, I, I primarily live in LA, but New York is great. There's no city like it. And I have to yeah. be for an actor it's really exciting because the casting directors and the directors here really love actors. Like they really enjoy the process of auditioning and mm -hmm. meeting actors. And it, it's been a, a really exciting time. So yeah, I've been enjoying it for sure. I just miss everybody back home. Yeah. The weather has been so hot here though. I don't think you'd miss it. It's been like 90. That's, that's what I'm hearing. And it was, it was pretty hot and sticky and humid here for a while, but it just, started to cool down and we're starting to smell that fall air which I, I I've missed so much I'm from Kentucky right so I missed the season so I'm mm -hmm. getting kind of my, my fill right now and then I'll get out of here before it starts snowing yeah before it gets freezing cold and you're like I'm not <laughs> gonna go back to Los Angeles now and stay exactly. there for a while exactly. that's funny my exactly. first my, my first year of college was at University of Louisville really yes it was I was a cardinal for a year <laughs> What year was that? Oh, that was a long time ago. I'm the old man in the room, Desi. 
I am the old man. Oh. Yeah. Oh. How long ago? Because I went to U of L too. Did you really? And and by the way, I'm completely out of whatever demographic uh, awkward is. I am way out of that. Okay. Uh, that's great though. That's what, that's what I want to hear. That's always that's really nice to hear. Yeah. I mean, but you know what? I'm not ashamed. I enjoy it. Laugh my ass off out loud. And I, one of the episodes, I was throwing things at the screen. Oh, when when Jake saw them. I think was that the scene? It was one scene. I think oh, it was when Maddie and and Jenna were kissing on the bed oh, yeah. right after she breaks up oh. with Jake. Yeah, the same night. And I'm like, you know what? I know. I'm like, come on, dude. Yeah. I mean, you know, I and, know. everybody's telling me, well, it's because they're young and it's because of this and because of that. And I'm like, you know what? There is no excuse for that crap. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> no, that was pretty big. There was a lot of flip flopping happening that night. Yeah, a lot of flip off, and then so you know, so then you know, it doesn't matter. That's why I'm Team Nobody. I got, I'm justified in my I Team Nobody. It. So when I did totally you get it. did you know how it was going to pan out? Like when you get the script, you just get your scene only, and you don't know what's going to happen, and you have to wait and watch like the fans, or how does no, that work? We, generally, we know we we do all of our table reads before we start shooting. So okay. for for both seasons that we've had so far, we've done one through twelve table reads before we start shooting episode one. So we know everything that's happening except in the first season for the finale, that final scene oh, of, yeah. of the oh, reveal yeah. for who wrote the letter. Yeah. We had no idea. So that scene was omitted from the script. No one knew except for Nikki. Ashley and Nikki. Yep. And so Ashley didn't even people who knew. And Ashley didn't even know until close to the time of the episode, right? I think they told her that day. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, Nikki knew from the said. beginning. Yeah, <laughs> Nikki <laughs> knew when she auditioned for the role. That is crazy. I know. She did such a good <laughs> job keeping that, huh? Right. I know. I couldn't believe it, but it was great. It made it exciting for all of us because we all had our bets going, and and you know we we ended up being surprised like everybody else when we watched the finale. It made it so exciting. Okay. Now, one of the things that that Molly Tarloff shared with us, and I don't. I'm. Uh, oh, that that was what I was going to say. Now, you're not in. Mm -hmm. You know, lots of scenes. Like you know, you're you're in mm -hmm. your scenes. So, are right. you? Do you? Stay there, and you watch the other scenes plant, you know, play out. Or are you, are you, you know, how does that work? Um, I mean, usually when I get out of there, I get out. Like when I'm done, I leave. But um, a lot of times we'll shoot. Uh, I won't be there every day. Got it, We're got on it. a five-day shooting schedule, and I'm usually there for three out of the five days. Okay. Day. Oh, okay. And so, usually my teams will be like, my teams might be the first step of the day and the last of the day. So I, I'll, I'll have teams in the middle where I'll want to go watch and, and see what's going on. If okay. I'm there, I'll uh -huh. watch what's going on. Mm -hmm. Were you there for the Black Hearts party? I was not. Okay. I missed that. So Molly Tarloff ex shared with us that there was this, you know, that was the scene where Molly and uh, 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 Sadie and Ricky were making out in the bathroom and Tamara yeah. found him, right? And then she peed on herself. <laughs> and apparently there was this prop that they had, which actually, you know, she, uh, Tamar, uh, Jillian Rose Reed had to pump the pee out and, and you know, and there was pee all over the ground. Anyway, what Molly shared with us was because the, the peeing, the actual seeing of the pee didn't ever make the episode. Um, she, what she explained was that they had to do like a ton of takes because they couldn't stop laughing. It was so funny. And if I had to pick the one person in this show that's probably ruining scenes and creating retakes, it has to be you. So I want you to tell me, I want you to tell me right now that I'm correct that nope, like you must have to do like five takes because if I was sitting across from you, I don't care if I'm an actor or not, and I had to watch you doing that stuff you do, I would be like, you know what, I can't do it. You, got, you have to film her side when nobody else is in the room. That's so nice of you. Thank you for saying that. We we have so much fun. Like I, most of the I, I would say all of the actors are very professional and they know how to keep a straight face. Mm. I'm actually the first one to break at other people. <laughs> so when I'm in scenes with Jillian or Molly, like I'm the one who who very easily starts to break. Sometimes Ashley, <laughs> sometimes Ashley on her coverage will go, Dad, can you just 
can you just do it like halfway? Can you like, just tone it down? It. <laughs> like, I can't. Just give me like a halfway bird. Yeah, I'm going to laugh. Just don't. Please don't. Like, she gets really serious about it. See? Uh, so Ashley understands. Kind of do it for her. Ashley understands exactly what I'm talking about. I would totally be like, you know what? I don't care if it ruins the show. Just I got to get through the scene. I got something. I got I to gotta go wash my hair. Whatever. You know, can you yeah, tone it down? Like, Throw my clothes up, Des. You really don't need to go for it on this one. Just It's okay. Just Just halfway do it. Yeah, and then usually I'll save the improv stuff for my coverage so that no one's like completely surprised <laughs> by something what is coming out of my mouth. What is your favorite uh, memory or scene that happened? What you know, and maybe it's something that fans don't know. But what is your favorite thing that's happened? Oh my god, I've had so many. You could just pick one so of the many. top funny things or whatever. I really love working with Molly. Oh. I love I love working with everybody, but Molly and I have a lot of fun together. And mm. I remember having so much fun the first season when I poured the punch on her. Yes. That whole scene. And <laughs> we just, we did that so late in the day. I think we were in our 15th hour or something. We were delirious <laughs> and laughing about the most random stuff that made absolutely no sense. And the, the two between Molly and Jillian, do you remember the song Jar of Hearts? Uh, no, I don't. I don't think so. It came out, I think it's Christina Perry. Okay. And it, it was like really popular a couple years ago. And all season one, they would continue to sing Jar of Hearts and they would do it in like a weird character voice. <laughs> and I, I, I like, I, for whatever reason, I just couldn't take it. And they knew that it was like, it was getting under my skin. It, it was just one of the, Molly would do this really pretentious voice and it would drive me absolutely crazy. So they made it their mission to sing Jar of Hearts to me any chance that they got. And that's exactly what happened that night. I was just not able to take it. See, again. I think I do know that song, actually. Oh, really? You remember it's it? It's like about a girl and a guy's collecting hearts or something. Like he's breaking hearts. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I've heard that song. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually, it could be a very pretty song. But the way that Molly does it, she was impersonating some girl that she knew. And the face that she makes <laughs> is this face where you just want to punch her. It's just really pretentious, like, oh, I've got a, such a pretty voice face. Yes. And I, I can't take it. And she refuses to stop doing it around me. And she is so good at making that want to punch you in the face face. <laughs> mm -hmm. yes. I mean, like nobody's she's business. She's actually a very lovely, sweet person, as you guys know, because you oh, met yeah. her. Yeah, she yeah. was so funny. We watched the show with her. She watched, like, screened it with us, and it was really awesome to have her. Oh, I love it. It, it was. So it was fun. great. Okay, so um, uh, Desi, tell us what fans can look forward to seeing you in. What's what do you have going on for the future? Um, I right now it's awkward. There's a movie that I did called The Baby Makers with the the Broken Lizard guys, okay. and that mm -hmm. just came out on DVD. I think this week actually, so people oh, can nice. check that out. Okay, excellent. And, uh, and yeah, and awkward season three, baby. Wow. Okay, so do you know when you actually start filming, or, or you haven't, right? I'm told that we start in January. Wow. And then, so when does uh, it, think it's going gonna, it's gonna to be another summer deal? Man, 20 it episodes. It will be, in, yeah, I, I mean, I think, I, I don't know exactly what the schedule, schedule will be like, because I think, you know, we have, we have 20 this time, so I, I feel like we're doing 10 and then taking a short break and doing uh. another 10. Got it, got it. Um, okay. It, it'll be good to get back to work. I'm excited. All good info. Desi, we cannot thank you enough for taking the time to call in and talk to us. Your fans appreciate it. We are your fans. We appreciate it. Oh, yes, it was thank really you fun. Thank you so much for calling. Sorry oh, we didn't well, answer at the beginning. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you were patient thank with you us. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And thank you guys for doing an awkward after show. It's so awesome. It's really great. We appreciate it. Okay, well, you know what? We're going to let you go. But before you go, tell the fans uh, how they can um, get you on Twitter. What's your Twitter? Oh, I'm uh, at Desi Lydic. Okay, that's D E S I L Y D I C. Desi, thank you so much, and we will see you oh, in season thank three. Thank you so much for calling. Thank and, you. And we so are nice going to. to later. And we're going to ask you to come in too. So yes. so be ready. <laughs> I would love to. Next time I'll be there. I can't wait. I awesome. Right. Thank well, thank you so much. Have a good night. <laughs> you too. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Yay. Yay. Everyone is so nice on the show. They're so like bubbly and very fu like funny and friendly and Yeah, and you could tell. I mean, she's she's smart and having a great time yeah. and just professional and I mean, you know what? 
the fact that you know they everybody's I wouldn't be able to stop laughing like to see I know I just wouldn't I wouldn't I don't know I, I know I, I definitely it. want her to come back and come in the studio but anyway we uh, that was a great interview we had with Desi and I'm not sure how I mean I know we're you we, know yeah we have, we're gonna go over on time but I think we can go over a little bit if we have a guest call in that's true I think that's what they that's told true. us that's true according to Phil unless, that's what he said unless they hold a sign up saying otherwise <laughs> <laughs> exactly um so uh, let's let's talk about this crazy episode, the finale of season two, the other shoe, mm -hmm. talking about the other shoe drops. Jenna makes her choice and totally shocked. Totally shocked. Uh, why we are we shocked, though? thought it was though? a dream sequence because they didn't have like an, because the previous episode was like she didn't want anyone. She yeah. was like, I'm not interested in anyone. And then all of a sudden... Well, She's making out, and that's her boyfriend? Like, he called her his girlfriend? Well, yeah, I guess so we're shocked fast. because we were like, we didn't see her choose. Yeah. And, and then Jake says, this is okay, I know you're together. Yeah. Yeah, it was a little weird, but, you, you know. You seemed a little too comfortable with it. Like, that was kind of weird. Yeah. Why was he so happy? I have no idea. Yeah. But, I mean, are you, you're not shocked that she, faced with this choice, actually chose Maddie? I am excited because I thought she should choose him or I thought she would choose him so I was excited to see it happen I was shocked because I was just like what we didn't even have any explanation and this is happening but I like that they did that well so every we episode is filled with so much it is it is filled with so much and then we see them together mm. and then we're like okay it feels like okay something like you were saying something's gonna happen yeah something's gonna happen right, right. and something does something's happen something's gonna go wrong or why do you think okay if and maybe, I don't know, did Val not know? Because Val is the one that brought up the Europe trip. Oh, right. Right? Remember, she's like, I want... Wants her to come with her beer chaperone slash yeah. buddy. Yeah, yeah. And I mean... And so how... it's a school thing that's going on, I guess. Yeah, it's the school summer trip, trip. to Europe. Okay? Yeah. And Val wants Jenna to go with her because yeah. they're sisters. It, look, it's crazy because Val is in there saying, okay, oh, Jenna, come in. We're having a family meeting. Yeah. Like, she's part of the family. Yeah, and she pulls up a chair. <laughs> she up she's a like, chair. get closer. <laughs> get closer. Uh, and calls her sisters. And just before that, you know, a couple episodes ago, she was trying to get with the dad. Yeah. And trying to sabotage the relationship. Right. You know, anyway, it's... Oh, I have something to compare this to. Yes. We'll get, I'll mention it later when we get more into it, but... She gets off for the trip. Her parents can't afford it, but yes. then they think about it, and yes. then they surprise her while she's making out with Maddie in her bedroom. Right, which which is where you know Crystal saw the mirror. We were trying, she was to, trying figure to figure out, out who it was. Yeah, I never, I would Maddie would have been my last one that I would have said it. Really, is. who would you have guessed first? Well, remember, I was like, well, we had what did we have? We had some people say that it was like some third person. Yeah, like someone we haven't seen. Or I think you said I maybe it was somebody that she was just sitting there with but wasn't yeah. actually making out or right. doing anything. And so I just, you know, it could have been anybody. It could have been Jake before it could have been Maddie yeah. to me. It could have been a new guy before it could have been Maddie. Yeah. I think I half know. of the fans and the viewers w left tonight happy and the other half is pissed because they either wanted Jake <laughs> or Maddie. And now the Maddie people are excited and the Jake fans are pissed. Well, that's the thing. And they're it's, shocked with Tamara's entrance into that whole love uh, triangle. You know what? Why did she, why was she willing, uh, I'm, I'm like, why is she willing to kiss Jake? It's it's almost, well, no. Jenna, I thought they were Jenna made kiss. her choice. Yeah, we knew it. You knew in the car, she's saying all those things, and he was just staring at her, and I was like, he's going to kiss her. Yeah, And then we knew for it. some reason, Jenna's like directly in front of the car. Okay, now, and this is, well, she was, oh, she was probably going out there after after Lissa had went after Jake. Right. Right. She's probably going out there to find Jake to tell him, hey, she's went Go over this other or, way yeah. or I told her whatever. Yeah. But um no that and this was at the Euro Trash party, mm -hmm. right? Which is what uh, uh Tamara called it. Yes. Which is Tamara's idea to tempt Maddie, because he had already committed to going to camp, to tempt him into going to Europe. Yeah. With her and Jenna. Yeah. Okay, so he could see, you know, and yeah, they set up this whole you know, the different stations, stations of Europe of with Europe. all the different foods. Yeah. I don't know. These guys, when they party, it's like, it's like there's no supervision. There's, there's free flowing alcohol. That's usually how it is. Well, high school though. Yeah. Like when your parents are out of town, that's when you throw parties. 
Yeah, see, that's why I said I'm the old man in the room. I that is, I don't even. Yeah, I love how you're like, there's no supervision. There's nonstop <laughs> booze. I'm like, that's high school. But I mean, well, I guess these are all, these are like r- sort of rich kids too, and they're huh? And they're like seniors, right? Yeah. Going into their senior year, so maybe it's easier for them to get booze. and. Well, Maddie can walk in any place. He looks like a grown man. Looks like he's about 30 years yeah. old as far as I'm concerned. And they, they probably are rich kids because they are from California. I think, is it Southern California? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're in like the fake Palisades okay, or something. Okay, yeah, then they probably, are, I forgot yeah. the name, but it's it's funny. And, um, oh, I forgot to ask. I forgot to confirm with Valerie because I think it was – Crystal or you Isab- mean Desi? Yeah, see, I told you I wanted to call her Val. I told you. <laughs> You're like, I need to confirm with Valerie. <laughs> I wanted to confirm because uh, the outside scenes when they're on the the track, yeah, is uh, Burbank High School. Oh, okay, no, no, I'm really? sorry, not Burbank High School. Um, wait, Burbank High School? No, Birmingham High School. Where's that? It's in Burbank. Oh, in Burbank? I think it's in Burbank. It's in Encino. Anyway, Birmingham High School is like right near here. Yeah. And that's where they filmed the outside stuff. I know because I remember when I went to high school, we had track meets at, Bur- at uh, Birmingham. Yeah, so you recognize it. it. Yeah. And I think it was Isabel or Crystal. One of them was like, no, it's not Birmingham. And so I forgot I wanted to ask her. Because they wanted, didn't they try and say they shot it somewhere else? But they do yep. shoot in L.A. So yep. it has to be an L.A. school. And See? plus their school's an outdoor school, like, isn't it? Partly outdoors. Yeah. So that's like California schools. Oh, yeah, schools. that's totally. You're right about that from Ohio, girl. Yeah, because we don't have class outside ever. That's right. Your halls are even We don't go in the ins- hallway. Oh, yeah, the hallways are all inside. It's like freezing six months out of the year. Yeah, no. But, yeah, I noticed that about when I came out here, and I was like, man, it must be really awesome to go to high school and, like, go outside in between, like, going to class. Yep. Yep, we go. Vending out. machines outside, like no cover because it never rains. Yep, I had off campus pass. I could leave for oh, lunch. Oh, you could leave for lunch and come yep. back. That's Drove what, my little car. That's awesome. Had a good time. Okay, so <clears throat> the, and so now Jake is making out with Tamara because, as he said in the, the episode at the party, he's like, he tells Maddie, dude, it's like I'm you now. Yeah, everyone wants a piece. Yeah. Jake is Maddie. You got all these girls wanting him. Yeah. And this is all because of the blog. It's all yeah. because Jenna had described Jake and he had done nothing wrong. The and, blog, remember, we also have a yeah, revelation. That's true. So much packed into 22 minutes tonight. Okay, so, but what's the cliff? Is there, there's not, it's not like a cliffhanger. There were like thing. a few like <gasps> moments, like the Maddie choice and then Ricky in the closet because now he's bisexual. And why didn't they show us Ricky's face? I don't know. He wasn't available for filming that day, maybe. Yeah, I don't, maybe, because they, I don't know. What if, okay, so maybe, what do you you think it's possible? No, it was him. They would have. It was him because they said his name and then Sadie saw him too. Like, she would have not screamed unless she saw his face. And what's up with Sadie being all sprung over this dude? I know. Okay, because remember that. And saying I love you and. Yeah, remember that weird call in the beginning yeah. where she still, you know, Lissa's like, you got to put him in your place, put him in his place. And she did the opposite. Yeah, yeah. she totally did the opposite. And Lissa's looking at her like, what the hell? Yeah. I totally thought it was going to be Lissa in there with Ricky. Mm-hmm. Totally thought it was going to be Lissa in there with Ricky, 100%. Um, but, but yeah, Sadie's character is in a place that I never thought she'd be. Yeah. Okay, she sprung over this guy, like, for real, for real. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, he, oh, man. And we knew, we we did, I did predict that Ricky, I wait, did I predict that he was going to cheat on her? Some of us did. I think, yeah. He cheated on Tamara, so it was kind of like a Yeah, but given. but it makes sense that they did it in a different way. True, that's that, true. That, you know, that the writers did it like this because yeah. it would have just been sort of too predictable for him to right. just get... In what Another gr- girl. Yeah, and what girl would it be? Yeah. You know? Ming. Yeah, Maybe. maybe. Maybe Ming. That would have been. Oh, and Ming got shut down from that guy because of. Yeah, because Becca. Crazy. Redistricted the the school district. I'm rezoned sad. it. I feel bad for her. <laughs> um, you know that whole Fred thing. Fred is funny. His yeah. character is funny. The whole Asian like mafia him. thing is hilarious. Yeah. You know, Rebecca, we've loved every scene she's been in. It's yeah. awesome. They need to bring them back. Yeah, I th- you know what, and I think. With the episodes they've got coming up, yeah. they've got room so to much. really develop. Oh, yeah. And so, it's yeah. It's going to get better and better. It is. We have not even come close to seeing the last of the Asian Mafia, which is hilarious. And speaking of hilarious, uh, we want to make sure you guys are aware of what's happening. It's going to be starting this coming Tuesday, the 25th. 
8 o'clock. And that is Fox's new Tuesday night. Now, I had an opportunity to watch these pilot episodes already. And um, the one show that's coming back for a second season is Zoe Deschanel and a New Girl. Mm -hmm. Uh, This show is back. I've watched it. It is laugh out loud funny like all three of these shows that we're telling you about. Um, Mindy uh, Kaling from The Office. Uh, she's been in the office, and she's been in actually quite a few other things. Mm-hmm. But now she has her own show that she's a star of called The Mindy Project. Uh, that is being premiered this Tuesday night, uh, the new Fox Tuesday. And then, I don't, I don't know if I want to say it's my favorite, but Ben and Kate had some of my favorite scenes. Now, Oh, I just saw her. Do you know who's the star of that? That's who, Melanie who? Griffith and Don Johnson's daughter. Oh, I think I knew that. Because she was on a Hollywood live, Access Hollywood today. But you know, well, the, and the thing is, with these all three of these shows, it's rare, you know, because awkward. I will laugh out loud. Yeah. You know, and a lot of times when I'm watching these shows, I feel like you know, you ever see movie critics or TV show critics watch shows, and you see mm. there's this sort of classic idea that they sit there and they're like just stone faced the whole time. Yeah. They don't laugh, and at the end they go, "That was hilarious. Yeah. That's awesome. You guys are stars. You know, yeah. I feel no like no emotion. Yeah, I feel like that for so many shows, <clears throat> but then I come across shows like these Fox ones, and I am sitting there laughing out loud. You have got to, you guys have got to watch this. I'm telling you, you got to watch this scene with Mindy talking to the guy. It's just leave her date early. I'm not going to say any more. It is laugh out loud funny. And then they gave a preview of the Ben and Kate, my favorite part, mm-hmm. where the little girl is being uh, babysat by the boss of uh, Kate. And she is putting makeup on her and telling her that we have to accentuate your face. She's like six. You have to accentuate your face because you have no curves. It is that is, the little girl from We Bought a Zoo? Maybe. I, I don't think, know. Because, you know, Desi was actually in that movie, was too. In Bought a Zoo. You mean, I didn't you mean see Val? It. Uh, yes, Val. No, Desi. But anyway, uh, don't forget Fox premiere Tuesday, September 25th, 8 o'clock. Watch and laugh. Guaranteed. Yeah, you will laugh. Non-stop. Okay, guys, so um, let's, you know what? We don't have any news and gossip. Right. Um, but we can, let's roll we into. We can do predictions, maybe? Yeah, let's roll into predictions because we have a lot to talk about with predictions. And now, your After Buzz TV predictions. Okay, Annie. I want to know, what do you think? Look at, you got all set. I was got, like, yes? <laughs> what do you think is going to happen? Okay, because right now. Oh, right. Tell me. So much. Well, okay, can we quickly just say that she's making a mistake by choosing to stay with her boyfriend instead right. of going to Europe, that her parents are sacrificing money for her? Huge mistake. She's going to regret that her whole life. Okay, but how – it? okay, so her mom told her, you know, because she got advice from her mom. Yeah. And her mom was like, you should go. this is what happened for me, and yeah. it was wrong, and I regret it. And now I'm telling you. Yeah, and, and it's like – what exactly what she said she mm-hmm. goes i had opportunities to do this and, yeah and to travel and i didn't and i didn't and then she even goes and i had the opportunity i remember being at a party and wanting to dance and he wouldn't but he wouldn't and so i just sat in his lap and i missed all the fun yeah and then this thing same thing yeah i mean you know what it's almost like that's predictable but the way it was written it was done so well I kind know, of you know so well okay so now what's gonna happen oh, so i think what's gonna happen is she Apparently, she's not going to Europe. That's what she's decided. I don't know. They, the show could flip it on us for yes. the beginning episode. We yes, don't know. she might go to Europe. Maybe she does, but Tamara's going to go, I think, take her spot. They're going to become, like, obsessed with each other. Her and Jake, I think, are going to get, like, a stronger bond, mm-hmm. and they're going to start dating. And then her and Maddie, I think, are going to go to camp together and kind of get sick of each other mm-hmm. and see, like, their real colors or some, true colors and kind of be like, uh, and she's going to regret going to Europe in the back of her mind the whole time, I think. Okay, I what am, do you think? I am <laughs> gonna predict that Jenna <laughs> mm-hmm. is gonna want Jake back. You think? Because she's yep. jealous of Tamara. Whatever the reason. Yeah, or she doesn't wh- like Maddie as this, much. Whatever it is, I think she is gonna want Jake back. Yeah. And I, I just think that that that's what's gonna happen. I think it's going to happen. Right, because it's too soon. If there's 20 episodes to come, it's too soon for her to settle and be with Maddie in a like serious relationship from the show on, like the rest. Now, do you think that when when the show resumes, it's just going to be after the whole Europe? Or do you think we'll I see him know. in Europe? I feel like 
I don't think we'll see him in Europe. Yeah. I think it's going to be like, oh, we're back from school and summer yeah. was great. Yeah. Because it was kind of like a summer break, you know, for the show, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I think Ooh. I think they're just going to return and we're going to f- get caught up on. Ooh. Oh, but really quick, we need to talk about how the person she communicates with on the blog is. Okay, so. What's also, his name? <laughs> oh, the gay guy. I don't, I don't know his name either. <laughs> I don't remember his name. Um, but he apparently he is anonymous. That came out of nowhere. I was hoping it would be someone. We remember we tried guessing who it would be. We thought yeah. it would be Sadie. Nobody said the him. Yeah. Well, he well he came out of nowhere. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's been you know he was like he's been there. You know, he's been in a few you know advice Episodes. scenes. Yeah, yeah, he's been a few things with Denna. Um, but and it it kind of makes sense that it's him a little yeah. bit. Like okay, that's cool. You know, no big deal. Like yeah. like it's not really. Uh, you know, we don't really, it's not really unbelievable. It's like, okay. Yeah, I feel totally, like they built it up so much that it was going to be a better outcome. Yeah, it would have been weird if it was Maddie or if it was Jake. Or, right. But I think uh, somebody said it might be the dad. Yeah, that would have been cool. That kind of would have made a little bit of sense. Or, you see, it couldn't have been, it couldn't have been Val because it, like, it was too level-headed. The talk yeah, was yeah. too, you know. Yeah. It wasn't like all over the place enough. Okay, so last thing. Um, Okay, so we already, we already talked so about that. So we'll the, be back in January? No, we'll be back. No, no, no. They're doing gonna, Awkward not till March or yeah, April. Yeah, they'll probably film for like three or four months You're right. before they even oh, start man. the thing. But, um, okay, so, and I, I'm sure we're going to see a lot more of Valerie. Okay, they're not going to show us scenes in Europe. Probably not. Maybe some flashbacks at the most. I don't think that MTV has the budget to go to Europe and film. Yeah, well, no, <laughs> it would be fake. It, they would do something would cheesy, and, and we would cheesy. love it. It would be funny. That's true, it's true. Like, it would be some miniature, like, you know, ta- you know yeah, uh, green screen. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, they would totally do that. With the Apple Tower. They would totally, yes, they would totally do that, and then it would be like a flashback with a green screen, it would be all cheesy, yeah. you know. But do you agree that Jake <clears throat> and Tamara are going to get serious then over in Europe? Do you think that's going to blossom? <sighs> Man, I don't know. <laughs> I can't really see that. Right. I can't really see that. I think ah, I can't really see that. Yeah, maybe she'll meet someone else overseas tomorrow. No, I don't. You know what? Tomorrow, I'm totally have no idea there. My net, my last one I was gonna finish with is what is in store for Sadie because she got drunk and was gonna grovel and passed out. Mm-hmm. Was almost gonna tell the girls, "I'm so sorry for being and a mean." Just- <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't know. I think that she's just gonna become a bitch again and be single and. I don't know, maybe try Maddie, try and hook up with him or hit on him. Mm. I'm not sure what is in store for her. I don't know. I feel we, like we didn't really talk about her. I feel bad. She deserves so much. Yeah, well, she's awesome. And uh, I love that Desi everything. said that they are, like, the most compatible and get along the most. Yes. the best scenes with her. Yeah, and they, have, they, they can do similar humor stuff. But, well, for Sadie, man, I'm going to say... It's almost like she's changing. Yeah. But we wouldn't want her to change too much because right. we like her character so much. Yeah. Um, we'll just have to wait and see with her. I don't have. I don't have a prediction. I am kind of at a loss. I'm so. I'm kind of. You know. I'm kind of. There's so many more bigger things. happening. Anyway, that's why this show is awesome. Yeah. That's why we're super fans. Yeah. And so, let's just wait and see. So until awkward season three. Yeah, I think I'm a little sad too. That's why I'm rambling. I'm it's like, gonna you know be a, what? It's gonna be a long break. Waiting for Awkward, Breaking Bad, all these good shows. But keep following After Buzz TV on Twitter. Oh, uh, yeah. On Twitter, I'm at Ed Bowling. I'm at Annie Demian. And uh, we won't see you next week for Awkward, but we <laughs> will see you. Or the week after that. Yeah. From Bing.com, executive producers Maria Manunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. You're, You're welcome. welcome. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.